Hey everyone, Mike here. Starlink is continuing to push its global expansion with much broader coverage in the UK and two new countries coming online right now. All the details coming up. In the UK, coverage is moving north, including parts of Northern Ireland, Wales, Northern England, and all the way up as far as Scotland. Scotland's particularly interesting because even kind of the southern part of Scotland, a place like Galloway, is still around 55 degrees latitude north, which is near the edge of what the main constellation of Starling is going to be able to cover. Any farther north, and they'll have to pretty much wait until the polar orbiting satellites get in place before they can actually cover those more northern regions. So interesting to see where the beta goes out in Scotland. The two new countries added are Germany, so naturally everyone else in Europe is upset, I fart in your general direction. and New Zealand, so naturally Australians are really upset. It just looks like they're going at it. Oh. In Germany, the coverage is starting in the west and expanding over the next few weeks, and in New Zealand, coverage is starting on the South Island and expanding from there over the next few weeks. Now the rate of expansion in both these places, we don't know for sure. I have seen reports of invites actually going out in Germany, so that seems to be happening now. I haven't seen reports of actual uh, you know, real orders going out in New Zealand, but I expect we'll start seeing that very soon. So I am super excited to see the international expansion, particularly in New Zealand, just because that's a whole other half of the world, so it's great to see coverage happening there as well. But what I think is really interesting is the update itself. This is the first official update that I've seen where it was actually posted into Reddit by the official Starlink Reddit account, uh, Dishy McFlatface. So I'm expecting that we'll probably start seeing these types of updates, at least on international rollout, coming officially from Starlink instead of just waiting for reports of people getting emails from Starlink. This seems to be official notification from an official Starlink account. So interesting to see them engaging a bit more on social media, or at least on Reddit, in addition to Elon Musk's tweets on, on Twitter. So looking forward to more communication in the future. So that's the official updates from SpaceX, and I'll put a link down below to that Reddit post. Uh, there's also some unofficial word that uh, some beta invites are going out in Greece. We know that they have actually licensed the Spectrum, so presumably SpaceX could start operating Starlink there. Uh, there's also France in Europe. I haven't seen any information on invites going out, but they do have their uh, Spectrum license, and they've also approved some gateway ground stations for France. And then there's Australia. They have approved the Spectrum and they've approved multiple ground stations. And with New Zealand so close by starting service, I expect Australia will probably soon follow. It'll be really interesting to continue to track service as they roll out coverage across the globe. It seems like the only limitations they're running into are just the regulatory hurdles in various countries and how fast they can actually produce the Starlink user terminals. And good news on that front, uh, SpaceX is actually opening a factory in Austin, Texas. It seems like not so much to build the dishes themselves, but to improve the machinery and the process for building the dishes, the machines that build the machines. So it'll be interesting to see that ramp up as well, to see if the production of the Starlink dishes can become cheaper and also be produced more quickly to aid the rollout around the planet. So that's now the US, Canada, the UK, Germany, and New Zealand. Let me know in the comments where you are and if you're still waiting for service to be rolled out to your country. While you're down there, subscribe, hit the bell to get all my latest updates. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. It's getting upset, make no doubt about it.